appreciate it, Coach. Well, first of all, you know, I appreciate y'all having me. To be able to come back and have this opportunity is an honor for me. Um, I mean, you don't know how, how close you are to where you want to be, and you don't know how close you are to the end. You know, just by a show of hands, how many guys in here backups? That's the problem. That's the problem. You could have never got me to raise my hand for that. You got to change your thought process. Never think as a backup because you one play away. But when you called on, will you be ready to respond? Do your coaches trust you? Do your teammates trust you? Do, do your teammates want to go out and want you in the game? You know what I mean? The guy in front of you, do he know why you're here? The guy in front of you, are you nagging to him? James Jackson would tell you I was the most nagging person that you would ever meet. Terrell Davis would tell you I was the most nagging person that you would ever meet. Because that's who was on my trails. Those are the people that was around me. Frank Gore loved me. You know, but you got to make the people around you better. I think I made Willis a better football player. And the reason I think I made Willis a better football player is because I taught him how to become a football player. The same way James Jackson taught me. James Jackson said, Rook, you get in when I, when I want you to get in. That's when I get in when you want me to get in. I go stand by Coach Solomon. Coach, put me in. Coach, put me in. JJ got it. Had to go over here to JJ. Man, twist your ankle or something. Let me get a run. <laughs> put me in. 40 yards, 60 yards, 50 yards. Come to the sideline. Appreciate it, you know. I went to Denver. They had Terrell Davis, Alandis Gary, Mike Anderson, all 1,000-yard rushes when I got there. Talent-wise, man, first team up, I walked into the hollow coach. Shannon had said, Porter, sit down. All right. I sat. But when I got my opportunity, we played the Buffalo Bills, best defense in football at the time. Uh, Greg Williams was the D coordinator. They hadn't gave up a 100-yard rusher. Guess who was the first one? Me. I got my opportunity and I was ready. And when you get your opportunity, you got to be ready. You don't know when your opportunity comes. I, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't smoking. I was focused to get to where I needed to be. If you want to drink and smoke, you got all your lives to do that. Don't fail a drug test and get suspended. Ethnic Sands is one of the best players that ever come through the University of Miami. Every time it was his time to be called upon, he was suspended. He wasn't available. If you're not available, nobody gets a chance to see you. And you best believe the scouts find it all out. Then you sit around and wonder, what if? What if I would have did this? What if I would have did that? It's no what if. So your what if is right now. Understand that, know that, and make, make right now your moment. That's all you got. You go from 17 to 21, and it's over. You don't get these guys to play with. You don't get these guys to call and talk to. It's always going to be, man, remember when we was at the U? Create your memories now, man. Hey, give them three. Give them three. Give them three. I won't be having a team in the coaches. So I appreciate you today. Thank you for coming out. Hey, appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. And good luck.